Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a potential 10x project, even more, but we'll see when it comes down to it. Uh, we're going to be talking about United Farmers, UFF. So let's take a look at this coin. Let's break it down, fundamentals and technicals, and see what is out there. See how the coin is and uh, if it's something that uh, you guys want to invest in. I'm definitely invested into it, so definitely up to you guys. Remember to always do your own research first. But other than that, let's get right into it. Today we're going to be talking about a project, United Farmers or UFF. Now this token here just got released. They had their pre-sale on the 11th and their pre-sale was around 25 cents per token which was great and now they are starting to implement some big things they just got listed by coin gecko uh they just got listed by coin gecko they just hit a market cap of one million dollars and their current uff price per token is about three dollars and 58 cents um and that was just a few days ago so we'll definitely go over the fundamentals of this token on why i believe it's going to be uh, a long-term hold and at the same time as well too uh we'll go over the technicals so we'll go over what the charts are saying and so you guys can kind of take a look at what i'm looking at as well too so first things first this is going to be a yield farming token so with yield farming if you guys don't know definitely do your own research on it but in essence yield farming is just taking one token and in return staking it and earning another token so Yield United Farmers is all about yield farming and making it the best at what it can be. So for right now, let's take a look at some of their information that they're releasing. So let's see what they got. Let's go to the info and then let's go to their documents here so you guys can take a look. So first things first, they have their introduction. Um, they have who we are, why did we create it, uh, how United Farmers is different and how will it affect the community, all that kind of cool stuff. Um, one thing that I found interesting for sure is gonna be the, what their multiple streams of income are. So one thing that uh, they mentioned is that they plan on they plan to start the usage of fees and passive incomes like stable mining and return. They plan on buying back the native token that will help keep us going in the going huge with a solid team together to grow. So which is awesome. So if you stake your token or you farm your token, they're gonna plan on buying back that amount that you have staked to farm in another token, which is awesome. And then on the other hand as well too, some of their features that they offer. So they earn, you can earn off tokens by staking liquidity pool tokens, manual compound your off staking. Um, yes, they will have a decentralized exchange and they will also do initial farm offerings, which is great if you wanna hop into these yield farms before they get, um, I guess you can say, before they get flooded with uh, people, which is awesome. And then let's see what else here. So some of their data is great as well too. So their transfer tax. Uh, so the total transfer tax is 6% of every transfer. Liquidity holdings is gonna be 93% of the total transfer tax. And then 7% of the tax is also gonna to go to the treasury wallet to invest in new features and future projects, which is awesome as well too. Emissions rate. Now emissions rate is gonna be 2X for the first week before reducing to normal emissions. So emissions will be reduced by 10% for the next three weeks after the first week so basically you're going to be earning two off per block uh so about fifty-seven thousand off per day you have the potential to earn and 15 percent of that is going to the development team which is awesome they also have their anti-whale policies as well too now with all these we <laughs> i love that we've all been fucked up by whales before uh therefore we came up with a few strategies to minimize huge jumps which is awesome there will be a maximum of 15 percent limit for investors to unstake their lp to avoid whales from taking out all their lp at once investors with more than 15 percent of the total pool supply will not be allowed to withdraw above 15 percent which is awesome so they're going to keep that to about a 15 percent in the pools so it helps in that sense um and then there's also the max holding cap investors cannot hold more than three percent of the hard cap which is awesome this prevents whale holders. We don't have to increase the maximum holding rate because it's calculated to the max hard cap, which is awesome. So at one time, no person can hold more than 3% of it, which is awesome. Like I said, it does help with whales dumping. Uh, let's say they earn 
or own 20% or 16% of the coin and they just decide to dump it, that does inflict price lots. So at more, they cannot hold more than 3% is awesome. Now, anti-bot policies, which is huge in the DeFi space. If you guys don't know about bots, definitely do your own research. But after each transaction, we apply a 45 second cooldown period. This prevents bots from rapidly buy and sell our tokens. This shouldn't affect your experience because usually a buy or sell or add liquidity takes some time to complete. If you are fast, they might run into this anti-bot policy. In this case, you have to wait a few seconds longer to do a transaction, which is awesome given it that uh, 45 second little breather period or cool down period before you can purchase again. Other than that, let's take a look at their roadmap. So they just did their built the front end, write their contracts and release pre-sale. At the same time, they also did their, they're going to be launching their farm soon, their audit application, which is going to be awesome once they get their audited audit in and then they should start marketing as well too let's see what else uh quarter four they have their dex launch launching on other dexes partnership with other projects full marketing apply to coin gecko which is awesome because they already applied to coin gecko and coin gecko got them so they're ahead on the track on that one there apply to dap radar apply to coin market cap and release a multi-layer second coin which is going to be awesome um this is what i like right here 20 quarter one of 2022 uh, expand farm to the polygon chain which is gonna be awesome um, if you guys don't know especially with the hype that polygons going into and if they expand their farm into the polygon chain it's going to be amazing for them especially when polygon goes on its um, when polygon goes on its next bull run there and then you can also create your own bridge between chains they're gonna create their own bridge between chains in phase one which is gonna be awesome to be able to bridge these tokens between let's say uh, the BSC, which they're on to the Polygon network and what other other whichever other networks they want to uh, release it on as well, too. Adding more advanced vaults, releasing more layers, multiple coins, which is going to be awesome. Other than that, that's all the fundamentals um, so far that are standing out to me personally. Definitely do your own uh, research. The website, if you guys want to go and check it out for yourself, will be in the description below, but it's United Farmers Finance. Other than that, let's take a look at the charts. Let's see what the charts are saying. Right now, I am looking at the uh, at the 30 minute time frame let's see what i can see here so far i like the way the chart is playing out uh and which is awesome because they just released on the 11th uh they had their pre-sale this was just uh they had to take measures right here they had to take measures somebody bought and tried to dump the coin on them but they had to take their measures to stop that um so that's why we got that giant red candle you can definitely check out their telegram ask questions and somebody will definitely answer it for you but besides that let's take a look at the first launch of the project which is around 25 cents um with market cap back here which was super super low right now like I'm, they're sitting at a 1.2 million market cap which is awesome but chart wise let's see what we see here let's see let's take a look so far so far so good so far i like it um if we go to my handy dandy trend based fib let's see what we got here i love looking at this so awesome potentially if this thing does keep going the way it's going i would love to see it i would love to see it hit about six fifty seven dollars in this range here i'd love to see it go up to here so six fifty seven dollars awesome right here i'd love to see it if it keeps going the way it's going hit somewhere up here this when it hits somewhere up here i would be prepared to expect at least some retracement um some correction in the markets or some retracement as well too let's quickly just uh get the trend line so if it does hit up here be prepared to see some kind of retracement on the way down so i would love to see it once it goes up here land somewhere down here maybe for the next little while and this would be another great time to buy more of this token especially if you guys are going to be holding it in the wrong long term i'll definitely love to see it uh 
buy some more down at the three dollar range again here if not maybe it'll just a little lower let's go with the 250 just worst case scenario love to definitely see some more um some more buying action here and find that nice little support level down there but what i can see i'd love to see it hit that 657 it might get just enough hype to even crack eight nine dollars so if it does that that would be awesome as well too but personally from what i can see i would love to see it hit that 657 dollar range and we have we are in a good time to purchase again it's going through that retracement right now and it's just a minor retracement as well too um, as you can see, let's see what we got here. If you take the good old fib tool, measure that out. It's about a 236, 382, so somewhere in there. Let's just call it a 360 for that retracement. And let's go look at the next retracement from here to up here. Same thing, 236, 382. As you can see, it hit that... It didn't quite hit that 382, but it's coming back up. So I'd love to see it. Uh, so I'd love to see it have that final push up towards the 650, maybe seven dollar range, and then you can expect to have some retracement back down. At that point, definitely, definitely load up here if you guys want to get that quick, quick double or one that double of your money the cats all over the place <laughs> if you guys want to get that quick double of your currency or you guys want to catch those quick profits definitely definitely um, do your own research but as you can see this is kind of where I see that uh, that potential retracement coming down and then you guys can purchase more at that 2 250 range and just basically dollar cost and stack up your bag as this can be a good token to see in long term even going up to 14 15 16 even 20 dollars a coin so we'll definitely see what's out there uh and we'll definitely see how this coin does other than that here that's what i've got and that i can see for the charts for the charts and the fundamentals if you guys have any questions definitely drop it in the comments below other than that here hopefully you guys enjoyed this token remember do your own research I'll also drop the website down below there for you guys. And that, hopefully you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later. Cheers.